taking another giant leap forward in the city's efforts towards environmental sustainability, a new hybrid omnibus and shopping cart were inaugurated in August. Longtime senior and disabled passengers came to kick the tires on the new buses. Keeps us mobile around the Littleton area and uh, to some of my doctor's appointments, uh, even as far away as East Harvard uh, over by uh, Porter Hospital. This service has been absolutely wonderful. We've, uh, uh, it keeps our independence. The two new vehicles feature the latest fuel-efficient technology. They are hybrid, flex fuel capable, and are expected to achieve a 34% reduction in fuel consumption over gasoline. Over the life of the two units, the fuel cost savings are expected to be almost $50,000. They'll also use about 18,000 fewer gallons of fuel. In addition to the, the base gasoline drive system, we install an additional electric drive system. Uh, and the electric drive system allows us to work with the gasoline power drive system uh, to optimize uh, the, the, the acceleration and the stopping of the vehicle. The, the hybrid system allows us to recapture uh, some of that energy of the vehicle during stopping events and then reuse that, that energy that we capture to get the vehicle back up to speed. Mayor Doug Clark and Councilmember Bruce Stallman accepted the keys and a $40,000 check from the Regional Air Quality Council towards the $105,000 cost of the new vehicles. Well, the reason we provide uh, contributions to these uh, vehicles is threefold. One, to reduce ozone pollution. Two, to, uh, to reduce particulate matter. And three, to reduce fuel usage. So the city gets fuel savings, the citizens get clean air. The omnibus and shopping cart are provided free of charge to senior and disabled Littleton residents. The vans hold 13 passengers with two wheelchair slots. They take Littleton residents, age 55 and older, or disabled, to medical appointments and grocery shopping. Mayor Clark acknowledged the vital link the program provides in keeping residents in their homes. I think for some people to ride omnibus and shopping cart that these are absolutely critical. Um, services that they need to be able to get out, do shopping, get to their doctor's appointments and just live as close to a regular life as they can. And the city is committed to keeping people in their homes as long as possible, so we view these services as important. We're always looking at ways to maximize efficiency and uh, reduce the cost of government services, but we are committed to our senior citizens and providing the services that they need to continue living in their homes. In 2009, the shopping cart transported more than 10,000 riders, more than 11,000 miles. The Omnibus made nearly 19,000 passenger trips and traveled over 66,000 miles. For further information or to book an appointment, call 303-795-3700.